Hey guys, welcome back to another 2 for 2 Outdoors episode. I'm Aiden, and today we're going to be reviewing the type of clothes and exactly what clothes I wear while I'm duck hunting. So we're just going to be going over like the waders I wear and what I wear while I'm duck hunting. Stay tuned. So in my opinion, there's pretty much like three, like three base layers that you wear while you're duck hunting. So, like, of course, I'm a big fan of layers because I'm a hunter, I'm a fisherman. And so the best thing that I can do to prepare for any type of weather is layer. And so, like I said, duck hunting, three layers. You have, like, your inner fit, like your long johns and things like that. And then you have, like, your kind of outer fit that's, like, your base jacket and um, your jeans and stuff. And then you have your like exoskeleton per se that it's not necessarily you don't have to have it but highly recommend it so like waders and things like that so stay so first off we have our inner layer so first I always put underwear on I don't do commando that's not what I do but first off we have this Nike thermal mock right so this thing, I wear it a lot. I wear it so much I rip the collar. Um, I wear it and it just keeps you warm. So this is like what I wear first. No shirt, then I wear this. So this is like, you have, like, it's highly recommended. Of course you can just wear a t-shirt like this, but this keeps you warm. You need one of these. Next up on the base layers, we have like your pants and so like that so on the super base layers a lot of people wear like long johns and things like that it depends what's clean in my opinion so sometimes i wear my long johns sometimes i wear these thermal adidas sweatpants and these are really good because they have zippers on the bottom and it's super tight so when you're wearing waders they don't ride up on your legs um they have nice pockets you don't really need them um they're thermal so my always i always do this wear thermal under layer like under armor per se uh not the brand but wear thermal base layers so next up we have our more like average kind that you put on over these kinds so first off for the pants we have jeans all right like a lot of people go full out with like camo pants. If you're wearing waders. Why do you need camo pants? So I just have some Wranglers right here. Um, I don't just regular jeans, skinny jeans don't do it. I usually don't like people who wear skinny jeans. Um, just regular jeans on top of either your sweatpants or your long johns. All right, so next up we have our, what I wear over this Nike compression mock right here. I just wear sweatshirt, all right? So I'm naggy, doesn't have to be a Texas A&M shirt. Um, it can be any sweatshirt and this is the part about layering. If, it, if you're wearing this and then you got the next thing uh, over that you can just take this baby right off and just wear the next thing and You're a little bit cooler, but you're still staying warm so After that we have the big coat, right? So sometimes what I'll just do is I'll put like two sweatshirts on um, Two or three Sweatshirts, but I actually fun thing to do is wear two sweatshirts and then a vest. I like vests a lot. Um, like, like, uh, what do you call them? Like, uh, oh, like a Carhartt vest. Yeah, yeah, like a Carhartt vest. So I'll wear like two sweatshirts and then a Carhartt vest. But an alternative to that is wearing a sweatshirt and then one of these big jackets right here so right here I have a it's a big chill expedition series um, 
I've used these for a couple of years in a row and they keep me warm. They are super warm jackets. They have, a, you can get them in different colors of course, but they have, mine has this nice OD green. That's pretty camouflage. And one thing, I cannot complain. There are so many pockets. And a lot of companies will give you these jackets with like super small pockets that you can't put stuff in. No, this thing has massive pockets that you can just load shells in, all sorts of things in. Cannot complain about the Big Chill Expedition Series jacket. And last but not least, we have our accessories per se. So right here, we have some gloves. I'm not sure what brand these are. They're just warm gloves. Um, I usually bring two or three pairs of gloves with me duck hunting. I like bringing one pair of warm gloves and then one pair of work gloves. So like uh, I got some nice Carhartt gloves that I got at Tractor Supply on sale. Uh, really any sort of leather gloves and then also some sort of rubber gloves. Like, like big thick rubber gloves like dish rubber gloves. Those are for your decoys. So you don't want to be sticking your hand in the water, getting your decoys, then your hands are cold. So waterproof gloves are a must. Next, we have some sort of headwear. Uh, depending how cold it is, usually I wear a cap like this. I got this at Walmart for sale for like five bucks. It's a good hat. Uh, so I wear this up until like uh, November, like late November. But once it gets into those colder months, I'm going to swap right over to a beanie of some sort. Or one of these things that cover your ears. I got this one for Christmas from my grandparents. And nice and thick. And also it's camouflage. So that's good too. But for now, being that it, it's June, I'm going to keep the old baseball cap on. So I know this, I said this before, but this is the last but not least, waders, all right? So waders are pretty much a must. They're like a 50% must, or more than that, like a, like an 85% must. But in the small chance that you're actually like hunting in a field with like full body decoys and stuff, you don't really need waders. Uh, cool thing about waders, they keep you warm and stuff. Uh, sometimes... People like the breathable ones. Um, I can see how somebody would like the breathable ones. I live in Texas, uh, so they'd be kind of nice. But these are just some super cheap uh, waders, and they've done me good. They're like 100 bucks. Or no, they're 50 bucks. They're $50 de uh, waders, and they have done just fine. So I'd probably, if you're going to be hunting super long term and you have an actual bank account unlike me I'm 13 but um, I would invest in some good waiters I haven't I should I'm probably gonna pretty soon but uh, yeah waiters need to have them so yeah that's that's pretty much it you know uh, you got your inside layer like I said then you have your regular layer that's like the sweatshirt and the jeans then you have your exoskeleton which is like an extra either an extra sweatshirt and a vest or or some sort of waders or a, a big old jacket and you also have your like you know limbs to think about uh i don't know if this really counts for wearing but i also bring hot hands you can stick those in your gloves or in your boots they'll keep you super warm but usually i don't stick them in my gloves just keep them if i forget gloves or something they're really good to have, like an emergency poncho. You know, you're always good to have them. So, other than that, I think it's it. Alright, guys. So, thank you so much for watching today's video. And remember to like and subscribe. If we get 8 likes on this video, that's right. 8 likes. If we get that many likes, I will do a blind, my duck hunting blind bag checklist. And I'll tell y'all all what I have in my blind duck hunting blind bag also subscribe if you want more duck hunting and fishing videos like this thanks again for watching and stay tuned for the next two for two outdoors episode